So we're going to travel down a little bit of a rabbit hole concerning this satan. Now, in order to do this, I want to show you the rabbit hole that I went through when I was a younger man concerning that. You see, when I was growing up, I was reading a Bible that actually read this way. In Genesis 1 verse 2, it said, Now the earth was chaos and waste darkness was on the surface of the deep. And the Ruach Elohim was hovering upon the, sur the surface of the water. So it said that the earth was in chaos. And I used to ask my pastor, I said, look, if the earth was in chaos, I thought that everything in creation just burst out of creation. Like, how was there this chaos? Like, the earth was already present, but it was in chaos? You know, what's going on here? So he began to explain to me how, you know, there was a war in heaven. And the devil, the Satan, Satan had fought against God. Lucifer fought against God. And that's what created the chaos. And I was like, okay, there's no biblical evidence of that. But that came out of the book of Enoch as far as a war in heaven. So I said, well, that's not in the Bible. So you still haven't talked about Satan. But then I have a question. If the devil was cast into hell and can't be where God is and evil can't be where God is, evil can't be in heaven, then how is it that in Job the Satan is going up and back? up and back from heaven to heaven to earth he's the satan it uses the name thus the verb the noun the satan and he was like well that was the devil i was like but the devil can't be in heaven so that don't jive and then i happened to be asking the question i said well what about the fact that the philistines referred to my man david here as a satan meaning an adversary of there and it used the same noun satan it doesn't have the the but the same noun of Satan. So Satan really just means adversary. So what we're talking about here is an adversary of God is what you're trying to get across in these analogies, but you're making it seem like they're literal statements. But where could they have learned this from? Well, in further research, I realized that when the, uh, the, the, the um, Babylonians conquered the Judean people and they went into, into prison exile, that they were learning about Zoroastrianism. And they learned that Azura Mazda had a opposite, that it continuously fights, always. When they, uh, Egypt, that Ra had a pep, an evil that it continuously fight. But those things represent the light versus the dark. That's what it all represents, the light versus the dark. Because ancient man looked at the darkness as an evil thing because they were feared the dark. In our, think, our mindset of elevated consciousness, we should fear the darkness of knowledge, of not having knowledge, but the illumination of having knowledge, the illumination of self. If you took it as an allegory, sure, but stop taking the Satan as an actual being. And the red thing, that's a man-made bullshit. Just to let you know.